Welcome back to the channel, guys. This is going to be episode four of the boat project. If you guys missed episode one, two, or three, make sure you go back, check those out because we're going to go into further detail. But let's do a little review and make sure you guys stick around because we will be showing the color we picked out for the boat. Now, if you guys remember in part one, we ripped that nasty carpet out and we also pressure washed the entire boat. Man, you guys got to get yourself one of those because it saved me so much time compared to using toilet bowl cleaner and magic eraser. And I'm, I'm in love with it. And we also learned how to clean these seats to make them look brand new. Also, we ripped the decals off and that took forever. I'm glad that's over because my arm still hurts. We sanded all the gel coat and we laid a coat of epoxy primer. Now this is the boat when I first bought it. If you guys want the whole backstory on it, make sure you go back to part one and check that out. And also, if you guys want to subscribe, go ahead. But if you don't learn anything from my videos, don't hit that subscribe button. I want you guys to get some out of this. And this is America, right? You guys have the choice. So subscribe or not subscribe, choice is up to you. Anyways, let's get to the boat. If this is your first time watching, go ahead, head over to the Slick Chips YouTube channel. Check out other content. We have motorcycle build. We do a little bit with cars. Um, we do work on airplanes as well, but right now we're doing boats and here's some videos from what we have done recently. Now, I see you guys asking in the comments, Mac, where are you from? What's your background, man? I can tell you guys this. I did get stationed down here about three years ago in the military, and that kind of fueled my passion for cars, boats, trucks, you name it. But the whole point of this channel is to make money, start a business, work on projects, and inspire people, and show you guys you guys can do it. So we're either going to fail or we're going to succeed. And I can tell you this, failure isn't an option. So let's get after the boat. All right, boys, we're going on day six of the Chaparral boat build. I don't wanna waste your guys' time too much by talking. I know you guys came here to see a boat build and you're probably thinking, Mac, why are you talking so much, man? Just relax, just show us what you're doing on the boat. But I just wanna give you guys some quick updates. I got the boat all primed and it's looking real good. Um, the primer didn't set down like I wanted it to, probably because we had a cold front come through and I couldn't use any reducer in the epoxy primer. You can't buy it online, but it's name brand and it's pretty expensive. So I figured, hey, let's just spray this on. Let's sand it, man, you know? Um, but big news, the gel coat did come in yesterday and I'm really excited to show you guys the color because this color, man, it's, this boat's just gonna look so cool. I'm so excited. The only thing I have left to do for today is sand all this primer down, make it smooth, and we're gonna put the self-leveling gel coat on. So. All right, guys, so I just got one whole side of the boat sanded. And this epoxy primer does not sand good. I don't know if it's because I sprayed it on or what, but it was really orange peely, but luckily, I did about five coats of primer, so it sanded down pretty even. It still kind of has like a little rough texture to it a little bit, but this gel coat's gonna go on really thick and it self levels, so I think we're gonna be able to get away with it, but I'm gonna show you guys the color right now. I know you guys have been wondering this whole video series, Mac, what color are you gonna do the boat? Well, here's your answer right here. Before I say it, you guys ready? Da 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 da. Sea foam green, baby. I'll put the link in the description for you guys so you guys know where to order it from, but it is self-leveling. It does come with a little chemical you have to mix in so the self-leveling properties activate. But now that you guys know the color, we're gonna mix it up and we're gonna put it on the boat. Here we go. This is it. All this work. Gotta put it on fast, really quick. All right guys, we just got one side of the boat painted and we had the hustle on, it was pretty stressful, but I had my wife out here helping me and we got it painted. It took us like 20 minutes to paint it. The paint started to set and it was just, we had to get it done really quick. So if you guys are doing it at home, have somebody help you. If you got a big boat, just get it done real quick. But I'll show you guys how good it looks. All right, there she is. Bam. Seafoam green. Turn out pretty good. I might be able to get a shot of how she looks from the side. 
it's still curing so it might get a little bit more shiny but i'm pretty happy with it compared to just doing regular paint this turned out awesome and i cannot wait to take this tape off man how cool is that what a cool color man anyways i'm gonna stop talking because I know you guys came here to see a boat video. And I'm going to start standing the other side and Joe code that side. And I'll get some better footage for you guys. All right guys, so I left the gel coat dry overnight and it's finally time to take the tape off, so we're gonna get at it. All right, guys, that is it for part four of the boat project. If you guys learned something, let me know in the comments below. Or if you got a question, let me know that, and I'll happily answer your question. I hope you guys have a great Sunday. Tune in next week because we will be taking care of the carpet. Have a good one, guys.